I'm not gonna lie, Bloxroost is one of the worst games on the Roblox platform. In this video, I'm gonna explain why Bloxroost is so trash, why I hate it, and why I started hating it. First of all, I used to be a very big Bloxroost fan, bro. I used to play Bloxroost every day, bro. I used to be on this game daily. I had, I think I had every fruit in the game at one point. I have like five, six fruits awakened. You know what I'm saying? I was really like that on this game. In my prime, I could probably beat most of y'all. Not realistically though, I used to be on Bloxroost every single day, but I stopped playing. You're probably like, Pedro, why did you stop playing? Well, I'm gonna explain to you right now why I stopped playing Bloxroost. I grew up. I hit the age of what, 13, 14? And I was like, wait a minute, this game is low-key trash. I had this random awakening. I was like, this game is low-key garbage. I'm on this game, I'm clicking my mouse, punching these bandits, and I'm hitting my moves, hitting my Z skill and my X skill, trying to make sure that I hit my moves properly. And then I was like, wait a minute, what am I doing? I was a bum. I had no job, no money. I was rocking a sky top. I was fat. I had nothing. I was a bum. But then I was like, wait a minute. I don't have to play this game anymore. There's no reason for me to be on this game. So I hopped off, took a shower, threw on some clothes, and I went outside and enjoyed nature. And ever since I hopped off of Blocks Roots, my life has changed. I'm making money. I cut off the sky top and I have a normal afro taper. I grew out a goatee. I lost weight. I started working out. I just became better all around. Blocks Roots was the weight on my shoulders. And when I took it off, I flew like a dove with wings. I'm gonna explain why this game is so bad. Reason number one, it damages your brain. Playing games like Blocks Roots and these other Bandit Beater games makes you stupider. Here are pictures of my grades before I stopped playing Blocks Roots. All right, here are my grades after I stopped playing Block Shoes. You see the difference? I became smarter. I became a better human being. Now, I'm not saying that you're just a worse human being than me if you're playing Block Shoes. I'm just saying you're not living at your full potential. A game that has progression built around punching bandits and NPCs is stupid. Block Shoes actually has a lot of potential. There's certain things in the game, such as Race V4 and uh, that stone behind that big factory building, whatever that is. Block Shoes could have some crazy lore going on, you know what I'm saying? Even with that fight with uh, Rip Indra and whatever that dude's name is. If Bloxroos was consistent with this lore idea that it has behind it, this game could be 10 times better. But it would have way less players. Take a look at games like Arcane Odyssey. It has less players because it's not a bandit beater and the game is not built for children. The game is built for everyone so no matter your age you can still play it. But I would guess that it's directed towards people who are of the age of 13 or older because people like that are more mature and enjoy games like... Uh, I don't know, Ghost of Tsushima, Red Dead Redemption 2. Games that have story mode and real progression. So if Bloxroos actually expanded on the game, got rid of the bandit beating and had a really good story, I feel like the game could be 10 times better, but it would have less players because kids don't like that. Kids don't like story mode, they don't like cutscenes, they like beat up five bandits. They click yes and they get straight to beating bandits. Why? Because they're kids. They want it easy, they want it silly, they want it goofy, they want it light work, bro. That's what kids like. At least nowadays, that's what they're like. When I was like seven, six years old, I was outside playing. Kids nowadays, they want to take quests from Bandit Quest Giver, bro. I'm telling you right now, little kids are really going to start getting stupider. Give it like five, six years, our GPA averages are going to be like below negative two. These little kids are cooked. Like, yeah, sure, you might be max level on block shoots with Dragon V2 and, and Flame, all types of different uh, things and stuff like that. But you're low-key stupid. And your iPad has drool all over it, bro. I don't want to hear no one flexing about playing Blocks Roots. Alright, reason number two, cash grab. You know, if the game was just a bandit beater, I could be like, okay, you know, it's trash, but it's not the worst game on Roblox. But bro, you're telling me they have advertisements in the game to buy other things like fruits and game passes that make it kind of unfair for money. Is that not crazy? They know their game is made mainly for kids. They direct the game towards kids. They even sell items outside in real life for kids. They know that kids are not gonna wanna do real progression. So when the kids get lazy, they can go ahead and buy that 2X XP thing and just keep on buying it over and over. Where the kids don't wanna actually work hard to get the fruits and find them. Most of the people in the game probably got their fruits from the gotcha thing or from trading. The kids don't wanna wait to get fruits. I'm gonna ask you a question. If you have a little kid who doesn't wanna do anything, who's lazy and all he does is drew all over his iPad and all day. He has two choices. He can either work hard to get a fruit or he can get it for $5. Who do you think he's gonna pick? 
He's a kid. He doesn't know the value of money. He doesn't know any of that. All he knows is that he wants the flame fruit and he doesn't feel like grinding for it. So what's he going to do? He's going to buy it from the shop like any other little kid. Mom, can I have your credit card? Can I have your credit card so I can buy the fruit, Mom? All right, that's, that's, that's reason number two. Now reason number three, gambling addiction. Now, don't get me wrong. There's definitely some adult gamblers out there. But how do you think it starts? It starts in the most soft, unnoticeable ways possible. Like those games at the arcade where you're trying to get those items inside of the box or whatever, and you don't get it, but you keep on paying your coins to get it. That's the start of it. That's how it used to be. But now, you can do it on Roblox for free. When you hop in Bloxroot, and you go around to collect chests, and then buy the uh, gacha thing. Yeah, you know that Bloxroot's cousin dude? The Bloxroot's gacha cousin? I'm telling you right now. All these little kids who play this game, they're gonna grow up to become gamblers, bro. They're gonna go from using their in-game money to buy fruits to real life and using their real life money to try gambling their house away. Parents, if you're watching this, you can let your kids play Roblox. There's this game on Roblox called Pedro Peace. I would suggest putting them on that game because that game is peak. But Blox Roots, parents, don't let your kids play Blox Roots. Unless you want your kids' grades to be low, all your money to be spent on fruits, and last but not least, for them to grow up to become a gambler with a gambling addiction so deadly that they'll gamble their house, car, and family away. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is why Block Shoots is the worst game on the platform. Most people who like Block Shoots won't even get this far through the video, but I'm gonna say this anyways. This is a disclaimer. This is a joke, okay? Block Shoots is definitely not the worst game on the platform, but I just did this video for fun just to rant and see what would happen. Um, realistically, Block Shoots is definitely not even close to being the worst game on the platform. There's much worse games out there, uh, like Skibbity Tower. I'm not even gonna say the name of it, actually. I'm gonna chill. Really, though, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, it was a joke. So if you're getting mad at me or thinking I'm being mean to kids, I'm not, I have a lot of family members who play games just like Blockstreet and worse, so um, yeah, this video is a joke. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, I'm gonna see y'all in the next one.